Hello again, folks, and welcome back. And you're here with Tusani. And today I have with me a Ford Bronco. This is a four door with the soft top convertible. We're going to point out two key features on this one today. First one is how to retract the top. And the second one is going to be how to remove the doors. So first off, we're going to start with saying that retracting the top has two positions. There's one position when it's fold half away and there's a second position when it's fold the whole way. To get to the first position, you'll want to re release the two latches that are below your headrest in the front of the vehicle, which is located both on the driver and the passenger side. So once the latches are released, all you do is basically you just fold the top all the way back and there'll be Velcros provided to keep it in place. Now from the first position, to get to the second position, you will need to remove the three panels, both driver, passenger, and on the rear. How do we do that? We're gonna start off by releasing the latches. And then what I find works best is removing it from the side closest to the cabin first. And then you could just yank your second portion out. To remove the panel, we'll just slide it out. And we'll repeat the same thing on the passenger side. Now to remove the rear panel, we're gonna repeat the same process. So we'll remove the latches. Always remember to remove the latches at the top. This one, we're gonna yank it out from the bottom portion first to create some kind of a slack. Then we yank it from the top. And then once this is released, we'll just slide it out of the track. So once you have all the panels removed, there's gonna be a latch, which is located right here with the arrows pointing down. Once you release that latch, so once you have all the panels removed, there's a latch at the top, of the convertible top, you just release the latch. And then your whole thing will fold to the back. This is actually a safe, method to travel with the top as this lever here will lock it into position. To take it from here, you'll need to go into your Bronco toolkit, which I'll show you shortly, what you will use to remove the door. The Bronco toolkit will have every tool you will need to remove the top, remove the doors, wheel wells, fenders, front bumper, all of your edits, all right? Taking off the doors on the Bronco, first you want to start off by rolling your windows down. Very important as well, just make sure your ignition is in the off position. Every Ford Bronco is gonna come with what's called the Bronco bag. The Bronco bag have all the tools and necessities that you will need in order to take off your hard top, your soft top, the doors on your vehicle, your modular front bumper, and all your accessory options. On this one, we'll be working on the hinge of the door. There's two bolts in one connector that we'll remove shortly then the door will come right off. So in order to complete this task, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter. You're gonna need your hinge tool, which will help you center the door. You'll need your two end protectors and you'll need a ratchet, all of which is provided in the Bronco tool bag. So now that you have your power cords disconnected, you wanna remove your upper and lower hinge bolts and then your door will come right off. So with the front door removed, now we're gonna to move to the rear door. It's oftentimes tempted for you to attempt to take remove the door from here. It's not advised. Even though it's fully exposed, it's not the right way to go about it. So we're gonna open the door in the open position. Again, disconnect the electronics, remove the upper and lower bolt, and then we'll take the door right off. So after all the fun and the outdoor cruise, now it's time to put your doors back on. This little tool that we mentioned in the beginning is gonna be key to getting the doors back on. So this little tool right here, screws right into your lower hinge. All that will do is to help you light up your door a little bit easier. Now get the door. So once you got your door back in place, you wanna remember to replace your upper and lower hinge bolts and reconnect your power supply. 
So once you got your back door installed, now we're going to move to the front door. We're going to repeat the process. Start off by inserting and then the door. So now that you have both doors back onto the vehicle, we're going to move along to replacing the soft top convertible and all three panels. So come with me. So now that we're back outside, let's start off by getting this top back onto the convertible. Easy latches will allow it to lock into the second position. Then just fold the top over to get back to your first position and close your latches right below your visor to secure your convertible soft top. To replace the panels, you will notice there's some groove area on all three panels. Please make sure that your panels are properly secured into those grooves before you attach the top. So once that's all secured, now you're going to match up your little hook right here, snaps into this position after you have inserted the top into the upper portion. This is going to go into this area right here. And this is going to go into this area right here. So once that side is in, we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. So now that you have the lower portion of the panel all secure, we're going to go ahead and secure all four latches on the top. and then secure it with the Velcro at the top. Now we move to the side panels. So we're gonna repeat the same thing from the rear panels. First, we're gonna secure the lower portion into the groove area, and then we'll secure the top with the latches. All right, so once you got your panels all properly secure, please remember to secure the Velcro at the top as well, just for some extra support. So now that you have your panel all secured, you'll repeat the same thing on the passenger side to fit your panel in. If you have any question about any Ford vehicle, anything we have advertised or any vehicle we may have coming in, please just visit our website, it's quirkford.com, or stop into the dealership. The dealership is conveniently located on 3A 540 Southern Artery right here in Quincy, Massachusetts. Stop in and let Quirk work to save you some money. Thank you.